Hi everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick Seasonal Decor up in the new studio. Uh, well, I said that because we were in the old studio last night with Alex. So as you come in, be sure to say hi to Alex and thank her for recording tonight. And what I thought we would do tonight is use Sam's Club ribbon. So actually, I haven't been this year, but lots of designers out there have actually went to their Sam's Club and they found their spring collection, which seems to have some new roles. Uh, so everybody seems to go crazy over this ribbon, so I figured might as well work with it tonight. So as you guys come in, let me know where you're watching from. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend, hopefully uneventful. Hopefully you just had some time to relax. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So the first thing we got to do is we got to share this video so our people can come and see what we're doing tonight. Okay. Hi, Karen. Hey, Karen. Nice to see you. Hey, Joe. Hey, Pam. Hey, Samantha. As always, Bodabra is giving away a free roll of scrunchy ribbon tonight. So all you have to do is just let us know that you would like to win. So we're actually going to start with our mini Bodabra. Let's do a little recap. Here's the mini. As you can see, it's really, really tiny and great for those very small bows or medium-sized bows. Then as you start doing what we do, which is reeds and swags and all of that good stuff, uh, we have the large Bodabra here. And this is the one that I recommend above the smaller one, especially if you kind of create similar pieces to me. So we're going to start with the mini, and we're going to use our Bodabra wire. Hi, Thank Melba. you, Pam. Hey, Melba. Thank you, uh, Pam, for sharing. So this wire comes on a 100-yard spool. It comes in gold as well as silver. We're using the gold tonight, and I think we used, we started using this probably three, four, five months ago. It's been a very long time, uh, and we've been using it for a long time. So uh, a little does go a long way. So we're going to take our length of wire. I just cut a random length, and what we're going to do is we're going to fold it over it itself. So here we have two open ends, and then on the other side we have a loop. So I'm going to show you later on how to tie it off if you still struggle with that, but we're just going to place that in the middle. And then I like to take my wires and tuck them underneath the Bodabra. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Becky. Welcome, you guys. How is everyone doing? Hey, Christy. Let's start with this ribbon. So again, Sam's Club, we're going to, what kind of bow should we do tonight? Let's try a bow tie with this one, because that's my favorite technique to do on the mini. Hi, Mary from Arkansas. Hi, Mary. Over 116 of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take our ribbon. I cut some long tails for this, and since this is a thinner ribbon, you can actually get away with creating a decent sized bow on this. Christy would love to win. So we'll do a few loops on either side that are about three and a half, four inches. And it's not, for the mini bow dabber, I just want to emphasize that it's not so much the length of the loop, uh, because when you cluster it in the middle, it's going to be the same width. Um, it's more uh, more so about how many loops you can fit in. So once you twist it, as you can see, we probably can fit in a good amount on this. So let's see how many we can actually fit in. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Donna. Welcome, everyone. How was your day? We have Allie from Wales. From Wales. Welcome, Allie. Coming back in with another one on either side. All right, so that's three loops on this side. We'll do three on this side. And then what we'll do, should we try something totally different? Let's try something totally different. So three big loops. We'll just compress that into our Bodabra. Then what we'll do is we'll actually come back in with some tails. Let's see how this is going to look. So we'll cut tails about six to eight inches. Hi, oh. Andrea. She would love to win some ribbon. Awesome, Andrea. So for those of you that... Do not have your Bodabras yet. You can order through our link down below, and you can find your wire there and other ribbons as well. So let's work in three of these. Let's see what this is going to look like. Hi, D. Hey, D. Nice to see you. Dovetail these ends on either side. Clean up our little mess. Hi, Kay. She's in cold and snowy Chicago. Ooh, We're supposed to get some snow tonight, actually. It's are we? It's supposed to start around 9. I, I didn't know nine that. Or 10. Is it a lot of snow? Um, it's supposed to go until tomorrow morning. I don't oh, know how knew? much, though. But Patty says, is anyone having trouble with freezing? Mm, it looks clear on my end. Hands up if you guys can see us okay. And I see we have almost 200 viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
And more than anything, we appreciate shares and stuff like that. Uh, but what I appreciate more than anything doing these demos here on Bodabra is when you guys let me know that you enjoy seeing them. So if you enjoy seeing us each Monday, let me know. We'll tie it from behind. Hi, Pam. She says, thanks for all you do for Nick behind the scenes as well. Your work is very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Thank Alex, you. you guys. We'll dovetail these longer tails. I would have just cut them at an angle, but since we've added three random tails in the middle of the bow, maybe that's going to do something kind of cool with it. There's Sandra from Arkansas, Darlene from Florida. So we were actually in Arkansas for a little bit, weren't we, Al? We were. Uh, we drove through it. Well, yeah, we drove through um, Little Rock. Yeah. Did we stay? No, 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 no. we didn't. That was like the first state we hit after leaving Texas, I think. So we'll open up those tails we worked into the middle. Over 200. Welcome. Hey, Lori. Nice to see you. Denise says, I love the Monday bow making. Thank you, Denise. Look at that. That's something different, right? It's pretty. Kind of funky. What do you think? So cute. Something different. different, right? So just think, just think, be creative, you guys. When it comes to bow making, you know, you don't have to follow the same rules that we've done with every bow. Add a loop to it, add a tail. Who knows? Sometimes it'll be pretty <laughs> like this, and sometimes it might be the ugliest bow in the world, but you do not know until you give it a shot. So uh, let's do one more mini bow dabra bow. We'll come back in with another length of our wire. Hey, Allie. West Virginia in the house. Take your wire, place it into your Bodabra. Then we'll come back in with this blue ribbon. We're going to use this blue ribbon again because we're going to make a double ribbon bow for you all. So for this one, let's just do a bow that would sit nice on top of a present. So we'll just take our end of ribbon, work it in. See that overhang, you guys? You always want to leave a little bit of an overhang. Come back in with one loop. Hi, Joyce. Carolyn says, haven't ever seen a ribbon that I didn't love. Right? And the cool thing about ribbon is that it comes in so many styles and sizes and textures and finishes. I mean, basically, it's like a fabric, right? It is fabric. So that's two. Oh. Hi, now Bernice that's two. from Kentucky. She spread the love. She loves to watch you make bows. You make the prettiest bows, and she would love to win some ribbon. Thank you. Yes. Who doesn't want free ribbon? Melba says that's definitely different. I love the unique look. I love this blue, too. I can't wait to see what it looks like with that double ribbon bow. So also, too, you guys, don't forget Bodabra, as well as Nick's Seasonal Decor, have free community groups. Bodabra has their Bodabra fan gallery, and we, of course, have the Nick's Seasonal Decor crafting community. If you're looking for inspiration and just to see what others are up to and kind of what they've created, join both of those groups, and you'll get a whole lot of inspo. Hi, Lori. Hi, Maxine. Cindy says, love it. Linda says, that's pretty. All right. So as you can see, it starts to become a little finicky when putting your ribbon into the mini, especially if the ribbon's a little bit thicker, like this blue one. So since we just lost that, all we have to do, since it's already scrunched, is just poke it right back in. So it's not the end of the world. You still can make it work. Take those wires, pull them from one side to the other, and tie in the middle. simple and easy as that pull it out of your bodabra and tie from behind hi becky hi janice welcome you guys how was everybody's day from kentucky let's place these loops where we want them i hear people outside there's a Me dance too. school next to us <laughs> and usually we don't hear anybody outside right with these metal walls but today i hear a little chit chats going on so there's just a simple bow if we wanted to take this and turn it into an easy traditional bow what would we need to do let's see add tails add tails that's it you could just yeah. add tails in the beginning uh, but it does create a completely different look and this works great like i said on presents so something very simple but now we're going to switch over i see over 216 of you guys let's switch over to our large bodabra so bodabras do come with the wand and i'm going to be honest uh, the wand is not something I use ever, uh, but if you have a lot of loops in your bow and you're really filling it to the max, it might make it a little easier to compress, but I just use my hands for that. 
Hi, Dottie. She says, I have the regular and mini bow makers. Awesome, Dottie. Cut another length of our wire. I always like to cut it longer than I anticipate needing it um, because you never know. You might need a longer piece and you're better off to be a little bit wasteful than not have enough. So now look at this combo. It's pretty. Isn't that pretty? So let's work in the two and a half inch to start. We're going to do a funky bow Missy using loves two ribbons. The color. Yeah, this is a very pretty color. So we'll cut our loops about four inches with our tails anywhere from six to eight. I'm never perfect. I never measure. I always guess. Um, and that just creates the best looking bow, something a little bit more informal and takes your eye away from any imperfections because something might line up perfectly when it comes to designing it. Uh, and then when the time comes to look at it, it might look off, even mm -hmm. though the loops might be the exact same size. So you, you're better off just trying to make it imperfect than going for that exact measurement. So for those of you that have been asking, how do you work in multiple sizes of ribbon within one bow? Here's the perfect example. We're using two different widths and two different patterns, but we're blending it through that blue. That's what's tying it together. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Dory Lynn. Hey, Kelly. Nice to see you. Hi, Gail. Andrea says, I really like the Bodabra wire. Yes, yeah, very sturdy, surprisingly. Christy loves those colors. Bernice says the combination is beautiful. Very pretty. Okay, so we're coming back in with another loop. We'll do three of each. I think that'll give us the best effect. So there's our second of each. Now we'll come back in with our third of each. Gail loves the blue ribbon. Thank you, Gail. Hi, Diane. So yes, these ribbons all came from Sam's Club tonight, from last year, but they do have similar ones that they carry from each year, and then they add some new ones. So I've seen lots of new ones from pictures. Carla loves her Bodabra. Okay, our third and final loop of the blue, and we're done. Melba says she actually has both of those ribbons from Sam's. Perfect, now you can work them to a pretty bow, right? Okay, so over two, almost 250 of you guys, thank you for tuning in. We're going to take those wires, bring them to the middle, and tie them off. Pull them out of your Bodabra, bring them from one side to the other. And at the same time, I like to tie it tight and then give it a couple knots from the back. Andrea says funky bows are the best. They are. So now let's dovetail these tails. Just folding them in half and cutting from the middle out towards the wired edge at an angle. But if you guys have any questions at this point, feel free to ask. That is what I'm here for, to answer any of your questions you may have. So feel free to let me know. Dory Lynn shared. Thank you. Okay, that's it on this side. Now we got to do the other side. Okay. Catherine loves that ribbon. I think this is a great combo. So when it comes to matching ribbons, you know, we've talked about this in the wreath community, but I'll just touch it real quick uh, with you guys. I love my solids, don't I, Alex? I yeah. love working with solid ribbons. I think solids are universal. They work for everything. Uh, but when you want to pair it up with another ribbon, you know, you can add a print like we have this plaid today. But... You know, you always want to soften that. So I wouldn't recommend working two plaids together. I think that would be a little bit much. Hi, Angela. Hey, Angela. I will see you in a few short minutes. We have date night tonight. And we got in all of our goodies, didn't we, Al? So we did. we're going to be working on a square wreath tonight. Fluff it open. Pull those loops apart. And I always like to fluff it even more so after the video. That way... You know, I don't take too much time away from you guys sitting here fluffing it forever. Angela says, great combination. Love the vibrance. Yeah, very pretty. And there you go. So that's just three loops. If you wanted to make this more faux, uh, just work in one or two more loops of each color, and then you're good to go. So that is what this one's looking like. Gail says, Nick, you always use the perfect pairing of ribbons. Thank you. Sam's Club. It's all Sam's <laughs> Club, all right? So it wasn't my doing. They just happened to match. So there's that bow. Of course, a little bit more fluffing could be needed. Over 260 of you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Now let's come back in 
with our bow for our wreath. So we'll cut another length of wire, place into our large bodabra, and actually, let's use this ribbon. This Lynn is a pretty says, ribbon. Thank you for showing us how to work with bodabra. I just bought one. Awesome. Yes, that's what I'm here for. Bernice says, I've learned a lot about bow making since watching Nick. I just need ribbon now. That's right, right? Hi, Marianne. She says she loves the colors. Hey, Marianne. Fluff king. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a traditional bow. This is a sheer, but this has polka dots on it. So we haven't actually used this since last year, but I think it's going to be perfect in tonight's wreath. So let's just do a very quick, easy traditional bow. The traditional bow is all about repetition. So what you do to one side, do to the other, unlike you know other bows that we create where we do the opposite. And you wanna get them similar size, but to be honest, if you're half an inch, inch off, it's not gonna be noticeable. So don't stress. I know I, it always pains me to see people measure out their ribbons on you know the table to make sure that they're all the same length so it's perfect, and I've just, you know, I, I feel like our bows look pretty good, you know, just not doing that. And when I used to do that, it would stress me out. So that's three on that side. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Barbara. Barbara says she's watching from Pennsylvania, and she just purchased both the large and small Bodabra. Awesome, Barbara. All right, so we'll snip this off. I think we did four on this side, five on four on the other. So eight loops is plenty. We could have done nine, five on one side, four on the other. We could have done three on one side and four on the other. Really just depends. In my mood, to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's tie it from behind. Marilyn says, thanks Alex for filming, Nick. I love your interactions. Mm -mm. Is it the volume? <laughs> All Michelle right. says, very pretty color combo. Looks very bright. Thank you, Michelle. We'll tie this from behind now. I just took those wires, wrapped them around. Now we'll tie it from the front. Keeping Hi, it... Norma. Hi, Joan. Hey, Norma and Joan. Keeping it very simple. Cut off the wires from the front so you don't see them. We have these 14-inch grapevines in stock, $5.75 right now. Uh, and I'm figuring the next time we get them in now, I don't think they're going to be that price. So as supplies last, or while supplies last. What's the saying? While. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hey, Karen. Okay. Diane asked what gauge wire is the Bodabra wire? I couldn't tell you the gauge. Maybe Bodabra in the comments could let us know. Uh, it's very thin. You know, that's why I said earlier it's surprising that this wire is so strong. Because when you look at it, you think, I can just rip that apart very easily. But, you know, I give credit where credit's due. It is a very strong wire. Okay, so we used these the other night. I don't remember why, didn't we? But we're going to use the rest tonight. So we're going to just cut them off using our snips. Janet's ready for some spring. Me too. So these are freesia. I'm going to put some to use. We don't need such long stems. That's a little, a little bit much. So we'll pull those up and then snip. Couple more. Hi, Peggy from Chile, Florida. Ooh, Chile, Florida. Peggy, you know who you're talking to, right? Es right? Estero, Estero, Florida? Chile? Like Chile as in cold? Yeah. Oh. We're in, we're in Massachusetts, New Hampshire. We're <laughs> used to that cold, all right? We have Lorna from Hawaii. Ooh, see that? If you said chili there, that would be a whole different story. I know. I think tomorrow, or Wednesday and Thursday, I think here it's supposed to be one degree. One really? Degrees. Yeah, with a negative wind. Not even one degrees, one degree. It's yeah, singular. It's a single degree. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you guys hear that? One degree just out. One. That is freezing. Work in a few more pieces of this. This is a freesia, uh, and actually, in the real plant, you know, form, this is one of the best smelling flowers and very popular for weddings. So this little wreath would look great for that. All right, we have one more pre-cut. Thank you for all the hearts. And these are wired too, aren't they? Yeah, they are wired. Who knew? Hi, Marianne. Snip this off. Just bend that down. 
take our final one, place it on this side. Melba says, have you guys ever been to the Outer Banks? No. I don't believe so. I know there's a new TV show on it. Though. Where is that? <laughs> I don't know. Where is the Outer Banks? Marianne says they didn't have any Sam's Club spring ribbon in our Sam's Club yet. Oh, no. Marianne? Our Marianne? Yes. Oh, so me and Marianne go to the same Sam's Club. Bodabra says the wire is thinner than 81-gauge corsage wire. You can actually tie it. Bodabra oh, wire is really strong. It is very strong, yeah. So, like I said, it's surprising how strong it is because it doesn't look um, like it would be. So it's kind of like a nice surprise so let's work in let's work in a few of these these actually came from the dollar store uh, and i figured let's put them to use tonight because i bought so many for some fast projects on our page and we might as well put some in this wreath just to create a very simple inexpensive wreath so let's work in a few of these these are very pretty pink place one there diane says my sam's doesn't carry spring summer ribbon only christmas only Christmas. Well, they used to stop. They stopped carrying spring for a long time, uh, but I think they brought it back because they saw how big the crafting community was. Uh, keep in mind too, you guys. All of those stores keep an eye on us. They, ch you know, follow our pages stealthily because uh, Walmart released wreath enhancements last year or the year before, and they never carried them before. So they always have their eyes watching us. Uh, so Sam's Club discontinued it probably because it wasn't doing as well back in those years but since live videos have really taken off in the last four or five years they probably decided hey we need to bring this back hi Teresa hey Teresa so that's one spray let's work in a second just to bulk it up even more so so these are roses from the dollar store okay Karen says they're really beautiful. Yes, we used these in a little tiered tray yesterday that Alex is actually going to take to her apartment. I know, it's so cute. Melba says you guys have to visit one of the best beaches, and then Michelle says you can go to Outer Banks on your road trip. Where is the Outer Banks? I want to... I don't know. I feel like it's... Midwest, right? No. It says south. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, somebody <laughs> let us know. know? <laughs> but okay. yes, maybe we'll make a stop. Yeah, so for those of you that haven't heard yet, we are planning, we're in the talks of doing it. North Carolina. North Carolina. Yes, North Carolina. Yes, that sounds right. Dad would know. If Dad was here, he would know. Uh, but we are talking about doing a little road trip cross country uh, to meet some of you guys. So how does that sound? Hands up if that's something that sounds good to you, and as we have more information, we'll be able to share, but right now, we're just talking. North Carolina, yes. Look at that. Very simple, right? Pretty. Not overdone. We have $2 worth of the roses, a couple bucks worth of the um, freesia, a dollar or so worth of ribbon, and then the grapevine, five seventy-five in our shop, and that's it. So less than 20 bucks to make something. Okay. So how are we doing on time? We have a few minutes left. We have five minutes. So let's make another bow. Cut another length of our bow dabble wire. So see what I'm talking about? If you saw this, you think it's not very sturdy, right? But when you look at it and when you hold it, it's actually very strong. Uh, and I think it's the coating they have on the outside that makes it so strong, that gold or silver. Hi, Danae. Hi, Danae. Angela says, oh, yeah, I'm in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I don't think we made a bow with this yet, so let's use this ribbon. And this ribbon we designed with last year, and my favorite technique for it was to do this. I'll show you. Place your tails inside. Take the roll of ribbon. Place it inside. Always leave that overhang. See how we have about half an inch on this side? Very important. That keeps it from sliding out. Do three loops on either side. And if you wanted to measure them, you can. Like I said, I don't bother with it. There's your second. Hi, Richard. Hey, Rich. Hey, Regina. 
So it looks like we have our winner. Our winner for tonight is Diane Stewart. So congratulations, Diane. Uh, you just won yourself a free roll of ribbon. So make sure to message Bodabra, and they'll be happy to send you the color of your choice. Congratulations. Yes, let's hear it for Diane, you guys. So oh, that's three. And I just saw her. She, oh, wait, was that? Oh, no. Nope. We have another Diane who is from Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky. Hi, Cynthia. Richard likes this very much. Thank you. All right, so two loops on either side. And then we will make our button loop, right? I feel like I keep hearing someone talking. I hear somebody talking to you. It's not your phone. I thought it was, it sounds like it's, someone like the phone in the room you guys know phone. alex she always leaves the volume on for me um but it's not the phone i just hear people talking it's our ghosts we have a wreath ghost here you guys <laughs> like i hear someone whispering <laughs> that's where all of our rolls of ribbon are going right <laughs> all right we're gonna take that wire now tie it from behind we see i see a lot of wreath community members in the comments don't you tonight al yeah can't wait to see you guys in half hour. So pull those long tails down. Here's your button loop. We're going to pull either loop on the side. Pull those three big loops. Oh, it looks like we only did two big loops on that side. And is that going to matter? Not at all. It's all in the fluffing, you guys. Hi, Sylvia. Hey, Sylvia. And there we go. What do you think? Simple, right? That's cute. Not over complicated. And that, this is one of the strongest ribbons. I love that texture. The color is a little bit hard uh, to photograph for those of you that sell. Um, that hot, hot pink is a little bit hard to capture on camera, but in person, it's very pretty. Patty says, I just left and went to your site and ordered some of those wreath frames. At that price, you got to get them now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Thank you for your order. So here we have those long tails. One thing I can tell you is if you're trying to create a grand looking wreath, you can use a tiny frame. Um, you can use small floral products, whatever the case may be. And the best way to create that huge wow factor is in the tails, right out. So you can have just a, a little bit of a bow. And then when you have those really long tails cascade down below, it just creates such a, a large effect. So that's that bow. How are we doing on time? We got two minutes. Ooh, also another thing too, is when I put my mic on my hat, you can point the camera out. When I put my mic on my hat, it, like the cord is you know down below and it tugs on my hat so at the end of my bodabra lives i'm always like hi so i always forget and then when i go back and i see the thumbnail it's always like ooh, you know then we created this blue bow using the one and a half inch to create a traditional bow like we talked about just to add the longer tails we created this which has got to be my favorite of the night just because of how, how unusual it is with those three just tails in the middle, right? I, I haven't. Like it. I don't yeah. think we've made anything like that before. Something different. And like I said, you don't know how it's going to turn out until you experiment with it. We created this bow, which is going to look great in a photo once we fluff it out with the two different ribbons using two different widths. And then our wreath. So pretty. I love that ribbon. Right? Isn't that very pretty with the sheer polka dots? Yeah. So that is going to conclude our live for the evening. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. As always, we are live here on Bodabra at 7 p.m. Eastern every Monday. I want to send another congratulations to Diane uh, for winning Bodabra's free roll of ribbon tonight. They do give away a free roll each week. Be sure to join both of our groups. You can find uh, your Bodabra products through our affiliate link down below. All ribbons from Sam's tonight. And thank you all so much. So that is that. Let me know which of these bows is your favorite, and I'll see you all next Monday. So have a great week, and I'll see you then. Bye, everyone. Good night, everyone.